kids and jam friends! Last week we learned about Jonah and the mean and cruel Assyrians and Ninevites. Jonah was given an instruction from God to go to Nineveh and preach God's word. But what did Jonah do? He said no and went the opposite direction. While sailing away, a terrible storm caused the ship to break. Per Jonah's idea, the sailors asked Jonah's God to forgive them, then took Jonah and threw him into the raging sea. The Bible says as soon as they did that, the storm stopped. The sailors were amazed and they worshipped the one true God. But what about Jonah? He was certainly drowned. But God was about to show his mercy and compassion to Jonah. God is merciful. The Bible says God had prepared a great big fish to be there when Jonah was thrown overboard. The giant fish came and swallowed Jonah whole. Can you imagine being swallowed by a giant fish? It was probably very dark and very smelly. Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. While there, Jonah had a lot of time to think and pray. He may have wondered if he die or live, but he chose to praise God and remembered who God is. After three days, God caused the fish to vomit Jonah up onto the dry ground. God had made the fish travel where Jonah needed to go in the first place. Then Jonah heard a voice. God told him, Go to the great city of Nineveh and proclaim to it the message I give you. God was showing Jonah mercy and compassion by giving Jonah a second chance to obey him. This time, Jonah obeyed. He knew now he couldn't run away from God, no matter how hard he tried. Jonah traveled until he got to the dreaded city of Nineveh, the city of evil and wicked people. When he got there, he obeyed God. In 40 days, God will destroy Nineveh. You need to turn from your sin and believe on God. He shouted to anyone who would listen. He was delivering God's message to the people of Nineveh. God was showing Nineveh his mercy and compassion by giving them a chance to turn to him. And the Ninevites did listen to Jonah's message. Instead of ignoring or not believing in God's message, they, the people of Nineveh believed in the one true God. They showed how serious they were about turning to God and turning away from their sins and the wickedness by praying to God and putting on sackcloth and ashes to show how greatly sorry they were. The Bible says God saw they had turned from their sin and had come to him, so God chose not to destroy the city like he had said. God did not punish the people of Nineveh. The people of Nineveh were so thankful that God had shown them mercy and compassion, even though they didn't deserve it. But not everyone was happy. Can you guess who wasn't happy? It was Jonah. Jonah was not pleased that God had shown mercy to the people that were so wicked. Jonah didn't think the Ninevites were good enough to receive God's mercy and compassion. Jonah went outside of the city and felt sorry for himself. While Jonah was sitting there feeling sorry for himself in the hot sun, God made a plant to grow to give Jonah a shade. Jonah loved the plant. But the very next day, a worm came and ate the plant, taking it away from Jonah. This made him very angry. Why would God take away the plant that Jonah had loved? And then God spoke to Jonah. He said, You have more compassion for that plant than you have for the people I created. God used the plant to help Jonah see that his heart was not in the right place. Jonah couldn't see that the people of Nineveh needed mercy and compassion just as much as he did. Do you think Jonah realized that he was wrong? We don't know. The book of Jonah ends with God talking to Jonah and we never find out if Jonah's heart changed or not. I hope that it did and that Jonah saw how amazing God's mercy and compassion are. God's heart is full of compassion and mercy and God gives you that same chance too. God wants you to show his compassion and mercy to others as well, even if they are mean to you. It's really hard to show love to those who are mean to you right? But you know, Jesus said in Matthew 5 44 to love your enemies and pray for those who have hurt you. Maybe there's someone at school who picks on you all the time, or sometimes your brother or sister makes you so angry. Jesus can save those people who are mean and cruel just like the Ninevites. God can help give you a heart of mercy and compassion even towards those mean people that you know. That doesn't mean it's okay to let them uh, let those people be mean to you though. Talk to a safe, trusted adult by, and help them to understand what is happening. Sometimes the best way you can show love is by getting help that stops the mean pe person from hurting others and teaches them how to live the right way. God can give you the strength 
to pray for the mean people and God can help you be happy for them. It can be hard, but God can help you show His mercy and compassion to those who are mean to you.